What's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Artificial Artistry, where I retouch AI-generated images using Photoshop. But today, we're going to go ahead and use one of my past illustrations to use as a prompt to generate an image in Midjourney. All right, let's jump into Midjourney and get to it. If you're not sure how to use Midjourney, I have a video explaining how to use it right here. Okay, as you can see here, these are a couple of uh, images that I've generated using uh, some of my artwork. Uh, this is the image I did use. It's an unfinished piece, but I kind of wanted to see how Midjourney will translate this. So I went ahead into Midjourney and generated an, an image prompt with a description, which came out with this and another one that came out with this. I did further upscale one of them and it looked all right. It would require a lot of retouching though. But let's go ahead and try a new image. First, you're gonna click on this plus sign here. Then you're gonna click Upload File. Keep in mind the file size needs to be eight megabytes or smaller. So what we have here is the image that we sent to the Midjourney bot. If I go ahead and click on that here, uh, you can right click and then copy link. You can see that other time that video here where I show the process of how I create these illustrations. And then from there, we're gonna start a prompt like we usually do, slash imagine. And then start with the image link and then the description. Let's go ahead and go with Wyvern in mountainous terrain with smoke and fire. Wyvern perched. We are going to do a aspect ratio of three to two. That's currently the widest aspect ratio we can do in version four. Uh, you can also change the image weight. So that's IW at the end of the prompt. So you're gonna do a hyphen hyphen IW. However, I believe with version four of Midjourney, it doesn't allow you to change the image weight. So what image weight is gonna do is you're gonna set a value between zero and one of how much that image is gonna weigh on the generated image that is produced. So we're gonna leave it at the default of 0.25, and so we're not gonna change that at all. Okay, these are the images that have been already produced. We can kind of get a little more specific with our prompt if we wanted to, but it does look somewhat similar, a little darker, a little more moody than mine. However, it does require some refining. Okay, let's go ahead and use another illustration that we've done in the past with another wyvern. This one's more of a poison wyvern. You click on the image, right click, copy link, and then we are gonna start with the imagine prompt and paste that link, and then continue with some word prompts. So let's go ahead and say undead wyvern. I'll go ahead and add the word dragon as well. Poison breath, attacking, attacking knights. I will say I strongly discourage using other people's images as an image prompt. I'm using my own just to kind of show you how it's done. Okay, here we go. And definitely a little different than mine. It needs a lot of refining, whether it's in the prompts or I bring it into Photoshop and further retouch it. Okay, now let's go ahead and upscale one from each of these here. So let's go ahead and upscale that. You can upscale it by clicking the U and then 2. Remember that correlates with the image in the grid. I'm going to upscale one of these. Okay, there's one of them. Again, we can probably refine this in Photoshop and further retouch it, but uh, this is what Midjourney spat back out. And then here is the other one, which is pretty cool. It's a little different than the original, and that's kind of what we were going for. Basically, you don't want to rely on Midjourney to produce something identical to what you input. It's just more of a, a reference for Midjourney to, to pick from. And so there you have it. There are some images that I prompted Midjourney to create also using an image prompt of my own illustrations. Uh, it's pretty cool to see what Midjourney does to it. So if you're going to do this, I strongly recommend using your own images. Feel free to comment below what you'd like to see next. Please like this video if you thought it was helpful. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Thank you.